what are the presbyopic laser eye surgery risks? Well, the risk of presbyopic laser eye surgery are the risks of uh, any corneal laser refractive surgical procedure. Uh, unfortunately, the risks are very low and occur infrequently. The commonest risk that occurs, or it's not really a risk, but fairly typical, it is a period of the eyes feeling dry. So in the presbyopic age group, which is you know the late 40s, 50s, our eyes are dry as we get older. And if you perform any surgical eye procedure on the eye, be that cataract surgery, glaucoma surgery, or corneal laser refractive surgery, you will induce some dryness of the eye. This recovers over a, the symptoms recover over a month or two, but one can tell that the eye is dry for maybe up to six months. So many patients will need to use ocular lubricating drops, uh, dry eye drops, artificial tears, uh, to help the eyes feel more comfortable during the healing process. With presbyopic laser eye surgery, one creates, it essentially performs LASIK. So that's flap-based corneal laser refractive surgery, where one laser creates a thin flap, and a second laser reshapes the cornea to address the presbyopia. It's important that patients are very mindful that they can't rub their eyes, particularly for the first week. I tell patients that for the first week they need to be extremely careful and they need to be careful for a month. So for the first week we ask patients to uh, wear shields over their eyes at night uh, and if they're for example uh, outdoors running after surgery in the first month I, I like them to wear protective eyewear so that they don't get dust in their eyes. The risk is that if the eyes rub too vigorously that the flap can move or shift slightly. That can also happen. I've seen that on half a dozen occasions in the last 20 years. Uh, all of them related to trauma in the first week. Uh, one was a dad playing rough and tumble with his baby. Another was a lady who put the, uh, instead of putting the drop in the eye, put the bottle in the eye. Uh, another was a child who scratched the mother's eye. All of them did extremely well. You can fix it. It's just a nuisance and a hassle. So that's why patients have a responsibility uh, to, to really look after their eyes for the first month, but particularly in the first week. The most serious complication would be an infection. But bear in mind that infections from corneal laser refractive surgery are extremely rare. I've seen one uh, in over 20 years of carrying out corneal laser refractive surgery. Uh, that patient uh, presented the following day after surgery with a slightly sticky eye. Uh, I treated him intensively with drops and he made a completely full recovery. But I've seen hundreds of patients who wear contact lenses with corneal infections. Uh, and many of those patients don't do so well. So the risk of uh, an infection, which is the most serious complication, is hugely greater if you're a contact lens wearer as opposed to having corneal laser refractive surgery.